So the recording has been restarted. Thanks, Tesis. Um, yeah, that was that was weird because it actually um it just forgot my um which microphone and stuff to listen to, and of course in game stuff. Well, that's just embarrassing. <laughs> Yay, there we go. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Um, I think we have to recover the first point. Garrett, I'm sorry. We have to recover first point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead. Um, high ground and such. Okay. Now, this is going to be weird because I'm going to have to say everything over again. Um, for those of you that are watching on YouTube now, um, you've just been spared the pain that people on live stream have just went through of um, the no audio because my computer decided to reset the audio um, defaults, which is fun. Um, okay, so the main point I want to talk about is there's three high grounds, three defending points. Um, this is a very high ground intensive map, at least for the first two points. I would almost consider the first point as like Numbani first point, mainly because there's so much high ground um, that's important. Um, but yeah. So you would want to defend up here, and the main reason why is because you don't want to defend at the choke. And um, Garrett, where are you at right now? Oh, I'm at the choke. You're at the choke. Nice. Hey, man. Hey. Uh, you, you are. You know what's going on. Okay, so if I'm at the choke, and I'm defending, let's say I'm Reinhardt. So go ahead and um, get past me, but not through me. I said get past me, but not through me. You know the whole flank thing? <laughs> Wait, what? Flank around, okay. not that way. Oh my god! <laughs> You're attacking. Yeah, I'm defending you. Know, yeah. So, okay. So as you see, I'm not seeing anyone. I don't see anyone. No one has to pass me, and I'm defending at the choke, and he can get completely around just because this little alleyway takes you through, which is fun. So yeah, I'll I'll walk us through all that so that YouTube can see it. Oh, yeah, you can see. Boom, we're here. It's the uh, left side, um, lost and found Vikings. It's only on the left side. So yeah, when attackers are coming in, they can either jump onto the high ground, go past you on the high ground, or just go around here. But if you are up here, then their only option is to go through that area, that area, or on top of you. So you pretty much have free reign to dictate where they're going almost. Um, I would imagine you'll see like teams um just dive up on here for a dive team idea they'll just dive here um you could run a tank comp or whatever and just push through that doorway and that's why i would also suggest a junk rat um but yeah that's pretty much the stuff there the second high ground garrett if you can jump over to it yep where are you Where's the little monkey? Oh, there he is. Okay, so the second high ground is over there and um, can only be... Um, it can only get onto through a staircase right underneath there. Um, and to get there from this area, you have to go around that up and over. Um, so basically, if it, it's a very safe spot. The problem is, is that um, it has a blind spot overall. So it can't be used as the sole place to defend from. And the main reason why is because one thing it can't see is if someone goes through here, goes around like so, jumps down here, around to the right, back here, and oh, hey, we can just go around the backside. So that's a pretty interesting thing that you can do. And that's why that that second point is not a good place to have your team overall but it's a good place to have like your healer so like Anna would be pretty decent over there because she could heal from afar um, and she's undiveable you can't really dive there if you dive here so if you dive here you commit resources and then you kind of have to wait to dive over there so you can't really like you have to commit to here or you have to try to run past here to get to there and it's just it's just much nicer to be over there. Um, the third um, high ground is good for if you want to run like a blind dive. 
where you're just jumping in or if you are wanting to protect on the point and you're afraid of back capping or anything like that. So um, basically the idea is you're just up there and you can just shell out from above. You're right, you see the point, you can shoot um, at the point pretty freely. You can shoot that high ground. Um, you can shoot this can high rocket, ground. Can you rocket up here? I can just walk up here. Yeah, but that's oh, kind of irritating. I missed that one. Um, yeah, you could, you could rocket. See. Oh, there we go. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's with this one. I kind of like this for, um, oh, for respawn. So like if you die and there's still stuff going on on the point and you need the high ground, you can just stand up here and shoot. Um, good for soldier ults. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it there. Okay, on to the second point. We got that one done in record time. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. We, we left out the Junkrat thing quite a bit. Yeah, you can, you can use... Lots of Junkrat corners. Yeah, pretty much. So attacking here is kind of interesting um, because it's all based around the high ground. This is comparable to the second point on watch point, Gibraltar where it's important to, um, oh, and you can also walk up there. Uh, I'll show you guys. But it's it's as important of taking control of the shuttle. Even more important, actually. So you don't really, um, you don't need to go through a whole painstaking process. You can just, um, you need to take that. To the point of where I can solo queue into any game at the moment. And if I'm standing up there on the high ground and make sure no one's not, my team wins. It's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, it's it's a guaranteed. Any presence up there over the other team, you get good. So this is a route that I like, and I don't want to call it a flanking route almost. I almost want to call it the main route because you can still go up here. You can go under here, which is even more interesting because then you can go around here, inside, grab the health pack, shoot here. Or you can walk all the way around the left side and take up the high ground here. So you have two staircases that get you to the high ground. Um, defense has a similar thing. They have a stair this staircase. They have a staircase back there that I'll show off. But they also have um, this little alcove area down below. But you can see, if you're the cart going through, you have to go all the way through here. And it's... You basically are are through a choke point the entire time. So this health pack's pretty good if you're running a Sombra. And like I, I said before, funny enough, but I didn't say now. Um, yeah, we had practice on the first first point. It was much, much faster. Um, but yeah, well you, can, you could have a shield here and you can use and kind of turtle up on the health pack, get EMP, and then just kill everyone. That's when, um, that's if Moira's not being played. Um, and for this one, I imagine Moira is not going to be the the one to pick on second point at least. Just because you have to get on the high ground or stuff. I'll show how you can get up there. Um, I think it's this way. Kind of have to... Oh. There is a way where you can just like jump up there. Ah, there we go. You can just jump on it from back here. You get all the way up and you're on Hello. um this is kind of very impractical by kind of very impractical i mean like uh, they can just shoot you like um, maybe a widow at times yeah so yeah but... a widow can get up here and use it pretty nicely um because you've got boom right there Ooh. oh ho ho i just came up with a great idea you you're can welcome. put an offensive widow up here and you can spawn camp them. You can spawn camp the enemy. Because their spawn for second point's right there. Which is pretty nice. Yeah, so at the moment, at least, the second point is the easiest to defend. Mainly because you usually have the high ground control in the beginning. Um, but I imagine it's going to be pretty even. Um, it would just be depending on... So it just really depend on how everything's going. Um, Garrett, do you have anything else to add before we move on to the third? Much better. Uh, I think a lot of this is going to be 
figuring out where your opponent's going to be mm -hmm. and repositioning according to that. It's a very diverse map. Yeah. I'm really impressed with how uh, detailed they got this map. I'm defending. I really like this spot right here. The reason is because you have view there, you have view here, and if they come up, you can shoot them as they're coming up. And you can also duck back in here to get health um, or get away from a diva bomb. It's pretty safe right there. Yeah. So, move on to the next point. After you get me out of mech. There we go, mini diva. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so the next point um, is pretty good. So, you get up here, and of course, you start going through this way. Interesting fact is the spawn point um, next to this is very close. So I'm standing in spawn right now, Garrett. If you, if you walk through. So this is spawn to the second checkpoint. If you walk all the way over, boom. Second checkpoint's of this little thing. So it's Where really close. I'm, I'm on oh. second checkpoint. So if you follow me real quick, I'll show you the spawn. This is a spawn. So it's a really close um, respawn um, distance. But then that brings up a good point. If they cap here, what happens if you're respawning right as they cap? So if you come back in here, I'm having you run around, sorry. Patched up. If you respawn and you have to get to the next point, you can do the stupid thing and run just in and just get killed and they stagger you. Or... Or, you actually just walk around here, and you can take a straight shot to the high ground on, on third point. Pretty nice, huh? Man, this yeah. map is, a. Uh, it is really mobile. Yeah. Um, I kind of like Doomfist on this map because the high ground isn't that high. He can pretty much get on all high ground. And that was a problem that Doomfist has on Junkertown, is the high ground's too high for him um, to uppercut onto. Um, and of course, first point with all those like roof ledges, you can bounce off very easily. Um, also, Tracer can jump onto each high ground, but she has to. I think she has to triple blink to each of them though. But she can get on them. But yeah, so defending here, I I kind of like this high ground initially. Um, you can shoot, 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 jump across here, roll around here, and start using the high ground for this area. Oops, that was bad. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much shoot here. There's um, one interesting fact about this is second to third point, the walking distance between the second and third point is super fast. Um, but the cart distance is re relatively slow, mainly because there's a flank... Um, flanking route to actually get behind the point. But if you're attacking, you have to go all the way around here. So yeah. I imagine if a team is snowballing, they're not going to try to get the high ground, but um, otherwise you'd want to. Very similar to third yeah. point Eichenwald. Um, it's probably going to be a very brawl-heavy point. Yeah. I kind of consider it as third point Eichenwald. Interesting enough is I like Farah on this point. Um, and let me let me go ahead and kill myself so that I can go Farah. Um, I like Farah for this third point, even though it's enclosed. Um, oh, also that's a bug. If you die, you start falling through the map. If you um, are like spectating or something the like that, if you don't have anyone to spectate. The so yeah, so Farah can have some fun times because you can just duck around areas. Um, pretty open map, relatively. Um, but over here is very interesting. And it's mainly because of how this wall is set up. So you can actually jump up and over. And then you can duck in behind here. And then and then just kind of... Just kind of like... Hang around. So it's, it, it's really nice. I really like it. And you can also stand on here. So this is going to be going to be very fun for a widow. 
Oh, um, there's... Come, come over here and look at this. This is bull. <laughs> where? Come over to where the point is. You see me? Yeah. Just so you guys know, you can hook onto this, but it's not a solid object. <laughs> yep. Oh, but man. but let me show you a good spot for um, Widow. Over yeah. over here, over here. You can actually st get on this wall. Where'd oh, you okay. go? I was trying to. You oh, overshot. Oh, I jumped over it. Yeah. Just waiting for the. Yeah, so you can actually stand right on here and take shots. At. Don't mess with my family. Um. But yeah. <laughs> And pretty much dead. Oh my gosh, I just realized a voice line that she says. Do you know that when Farrah kills Widow, she says, don't mess with my family? No. Deep with the lore. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so... Um, sad chandeliers can't be used. Um, but yeah. I kind of like this point for that reason. Um... But pretty much, you can flank around. The attacking defending team has so easy time to flank around on any point. That's that's a big thing with this map, is it's really easy to flank on it on this map. I can see a rushdown being very powerful on this map. Yeah. If you play your cards right. I kind of want to call it a linear map, but at the same time, it can easily be a dive map as well. Um... I, I, I imagine that more meta is going to decide. Um, second point, I would say, is better for a dive. Personally. Um, yeah. Just because... Because you have all that high ground, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't kill me. What the hell? So... Right. So, you want to go ahead and uh, play around in the... Yeah, just Arcade go. Arcade version of this. Yeah. Um, right. I'm go ahead and play one map. How long has it been? Did we go through that? Did we go through the map in 10 minutes? Yeah. I want to see. You know, 20 minutes. It's not that bad. Let me invite you. Okay. So we're going to kind of jump around in here. Um, show off what's going on now in the arcade. And by the way, it's arcade, so literally there's no meta pulling up. Oh, I'm um, going to try to create one. You yeah. with me? If anyone has any quest questions, you can go ahead and put them in chat. Um, I'm and if you guys want to play with us and try out some uh, game crafting, oh yeah. This will be fun. Oh yeah. If we go in there with a full six stack, that would be... <laughs> That'd be really funny. Just try hard in arcade. Oh, yeah. Be, be the first one to try hard on that map. <laughs> I'll be honest. I, I am known for doing the try hard mode on, on this. Okay. I, I want to win, so I guess I'll just play Mercy. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Um, a lot of things that people tend to do when they're defending and they want to do is just go on the choke point. So I imagine um, that lower levels will all do that. You won't have people standing on the high ground that often unless they're support. I've noticed that. There's a lot more support players standing on the high ground. Other than that, no one else. Um, higher levels, I don't think people will even look at the choke point. Um... And I imagine people are going to be tempted of it, of standing on this and just giving up the first part is going to be another idea as well. I personally liked um, this positioning um, just because there's a lot less stuff to worry about. Whereas if you're on that high ground, you have to worry about them on that high ground or hooking there, there around the There is a thing backside. right here, though. If, you're, if you look at the Mercy, you have to be worried, weary because you can't see that that entrance right over there they can sneak under you if you're too far back yeah that is something to worry about and that that's going to be a can, real reinhardt have... job if reinhardt's up or Arissa's up here yeah they'll be sitting right here Three, two, one. 
And I've also noticed that this is a good map to get quick kills on, um, with Soldier. Come here and get stabilized. So, as you can see right here, I'm trying to not get killed by the widow. Okay, never mind. I wasn't trying to not what? get what killed. What do you mean? You never got killed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Doc. Okay, so we can actually wrap around here and. Go. I'm on fire. And these pillars are really nice. Oh, we have a tracer. On me. Come on, come on, come on. See how, how nice this pillar is? I lasted right. so long behind that yeah. pillar. Don't don't even try to go back to point. We're not gonna hold it. We have a Moira and a what? what what's over there? Knock me down. Moira and Diva, Mini Diva. Yeah. Okay, just go ahead and get on high ground. So you see how I said that at the moment it's really hard to defend that point, and it's just. Yeah, we actually did really good. Yeah. That was stupidly good for that point. Yeah, and you can see fly. that as soldier, it's. This map really likes Soldier. Uh, get back, get back. So, I wouldn't worry too much about the Genji. At the moment. The Genji has to come to us to kill us. Oh, the blind ult. Yeah, and you can see our uh, team is really not trying to contest this high ground. It's looking like we're about to lose that. Patched up. Or at least that choke point. Ah. Uh, yeah. No, um, I can get you. You can always... And, and the thing as well is it's pretty good to have, like, second chances on the point as well. Thanks, Doc. Tactical necessity. Where are you? I'm feeling spry. Oh. Get over here. Get out of my way or I'll run you over. Ah. Uh, no, I got you again. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I would have laughed if you died. Oh. You know I'm better than that. Immediately dies after. So yeah, it's it, it's really easy because the defending team usually has two shots to um, basically get the point. Well, to defend the point. Okay. I thought I was being more clever to that. Um, yeah, don't worry I don't know about where it. He is. Yeah, I can't get you. We had a you man died that too was... fast. You died within thirty seconds of me rising you. You don't appreciate my reses, man. Stop the payload! 
Okay, I'm gonna go and try to contest that widow. Oh, uh, where are you? Oh, you're way back there already. I'm in the left side trying uh, to... What is Diva doing? Widow's on the left side. Surrender to my will. Widow's dead. Where'd you go? I, I killed the widow. Oh, she was are. hiding out on the left side. Well, I'm trying to boost you as much as possible. I'm trying to keep you in my sight. Ah! Okay, I can heal that one. Thank you. Thanks, Doc. Kept your head yeah, you have a lot of sightlines on this. Everyone, heal up. So yeah. boosting, boosting the soldiers is a really good idea. Wow, that McCree is pretty good. Let's get you back in the fight. Yeah. Thanks. I'm just gonna let her be. Get some good shots. Yeah, these guys are oh. hurt. Too bad. No, they're not. McCree's pretty good. Genji's yeah. pretty good. I haven't been pressured a lot by the Widowmaker though. Oh, I have. Knock me down and I'll keep getting back. Up. I've had to respect the Widow. Really? Yeah. Oh. I thought it died like instantly. Yeah. There. Um. Well. So what's also interesting is that the third point defends really well as well. The war goes so it's pretty, it's pretty Hello decent there. to defend the third point. No it's kind of like Eichenwald. Another one's put together. Um, I would say King's Road. Yeah. Lots of high ground. Okay. 
guy. Ah. Uh. Yep. Saw that one coming. Let's go. Tracer to try to block that. Well, no, we can. We got this. Her diva just got a kill. Oh, oh yeah, under, yeah, yeah. It's, it's done. Wow, that shortcut in the back of their spawn. Wow, that is really helping them out. Do you have gold healing? Uh, of course. Oh, we got all golds. We took all the golds. What is that guy saying? He he uh he got forty three kills and he carried. Yeah, that was no, number he three. He was pretty good. <laughs> I love how it was just like, and then proceeded to just miss every shot. Wasn't too bad. He had to objective time as McCree. Rest in peace. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so that's going to be end the end of the stream. So everyone, um, please like, subscribe, comment as well if you're watching on YouTube. Um, next week, I think we're going to talk about ult usage and ult management. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Um, so remember, like, subscribe, comment, rebidetchi, sign on, have a nice day, everyone. Bye.